Philip Sidney once said, Either I will find a way, or I will make one. Welcome to McBain Moments. So, goals, right? We all have goals. We all have things that we aim to achieve. And there have been times, sometimes on a daily basis, <clears throat> where I look at the goals I've set and I'm trying to figure out how in the hell am I going to achieve what I have set out to do? And the simple answer to that, of course, is I don't know yet. I have a plan. It's in my little blue notebook. Well, it's not little, it's an eight by 11 blue notebook. Boom. Um, I have a plan, it's, it's still fairly broad. But I don't have a precise knowledge that I'm going to get all the way there. And so the question is, is how do I get there? I've got the plan of action and I've got kind of the steps amorphously planned out in my head. And, and overcoming the obstacles is always an issue and I've talked about that before, but what it comes down to is you gotta find a way. No matter what your goal is, <clears throat> whether your goal is to become the, the best tailor in America or to build a social media presence or to become a better fencer or to become a better salesperson or it, it doesn't matter what the goal is. You got to find a way to do it. And whether that's finding a mentor or going and doing training programs and spending a little money on yourself, you find a way to make these things happen. Because if, if you're just sitting there waiting for them to happen, they're not going to happen. You have to facilitate your own success. You have to facilitate the accomplishment of your own goals. And to do that, you have to take a real look at yourself in the mirror and decide, okay, I have decided that this is what I want in my life. And these are the things I'm willing to do in order to accomplish that goal. And if I fail, I'm willing to keep going and keep failing until the day that I succeed. Because you're not going to succeed the first time. Well, you could su succeed the first time, but it's like winning the lottery. You're not going to succeed the first time, generally speaking. It might be the hundredth time or the thousandth time. Every time you make an attempt, you build that skill level a little bit. It's iterative. And so you find a way to accomplish the goal you set out to do. And if you have a hard time finding a way, make one. Blaze your own trail. Say, okay, this is the goal, and no matter what I've tried so far, I have run into problems. So what is something that I can do to push through this obstacle? And as long as you don't hurt anyone along the way, not deliberately, you, you don't want to cause harm to others insofar as, as you can to facilitate your own success, because then you're not really successful. You're not su success, truly successful when you're running other people over to be successful. And this is a hard lesson to learn. This is something I had to learn the hard way. I, I used to work in, in small box grocery, right? So convenience. And it, believe it or not, when you're internal to something like that, it is cutthroat. To get a promotion, you often have to run your own boss over. And it's not a good business method of doing business because what ends up happening is if you're running people over to succeed, then someone's going to eventually be better than you and run you over. And so, and I learned this the hard way. I ended up leaving the industry, not because I got run over, but because I saw the, that that's the way everything had to go. And so, after you get tired of the being cutthroat, if, if you are able to, not if you're able, if you do become tired of it, or if you get run over yourself, then you really have to look at a better methodology. And I think that one of the ways you can make things happen is you find people who have similar goals and you help each other. As long as you're not competing in a particular sphere, so like two big box chains aren't going to help each other be successful because they're competing directly with each other. But a big box retailer and a supplier work together for mutual advantage because the supplier provides the retailer the supplies they need to sell the customer. 
for social media, it's it's even more different than that because content creation itself, if you're a content creator and you're watching my channel, first off, thank you. Um, but what it comes down to is we as content creators can only create so much content. And the majority of us, I would think, are probably not involved in some of the larger networks. So what we can do is we can prop each other up, comment on each other's stuff, um, continue to support each other's development. And I find that that's a good way to build a, a network, build a community of both content creators and viewers, consumers, which, which really helps everyone succeed. And, and that'll work in just about any walk of life. If you're building a company or if you, if you work for a company and you are helping to train the people that are new, you're basically building up everyone in your business unit because you're making everyone better. And I'm not going to say that I'm an expert at this. I am still by far a student. I'm learning everything. I'm still figuring things out. And I'm not entirely sure where that part will end up. And I don't know how that's going to affect the methodology I use to achieve the goals I have set for myself. Not only the nine on the wall back there that I constantly point to, but the overarching goal I've given. I've got a 10-year goal. And maybe someday I'll share it with you. I'm not going to put it within the scope of this video. But I do have a 10-year goal. And it's in that notebook. And... I, I speak it every single day. And every single day, I take one small step toward its completion. And do I know if that methodology is going to work? No, I don't have a bloody clue. But you know what? Until I see that it's not working, I'm going to continue trying. And you should too. This has been a McMahon moment. <laughs>